The delegation level interstate border dispute, uh, the chief minister level interstate border dispute talks between the Assam and Meghalaya chief minister ended in Shillong just a short while ago. Both the Assam chief minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma and his Meghalaya counterpart Conrad Sangma termed the meeting as very fruitful and positive and resolved to take things beyond the status quo. The two leaders explained that it was time to move from maintaining the status quo to finding a permanent solution to the decades-old dispute. Listening. Today's discussion was very, very fruitful. We appreciate each other's positions. And we also come to a common understanding that now we need to travel beyond status quo. Whenever both the chief minister met earlier, after the meeting we gave a, we used to give a joint statement that both the state has agreed to maintain the status quo. This time we are not going to maintain that. What we are going to say to the people of Meghalaya and people of Assam that we are firm and we are committed to resolve this dispute. So I have invited Honorable Chief Minister of Meghalaya, C. Conrad Sangma, to visit Gohati on 6th to start the second round of discussion, if we say that today is the first round of discussion. And then, if necessary, we'll go to the all 12 sites together. Both the chief minister will, if necessary, will go to all the 12 sites to appreciate each other position. And addressing the media after the meeting, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma also said that both the states are keen on finding a solution to the issue and that the idea was to resolve the disputes one by one. The states have identified as many as 12 areas of a dispute. We have decided that all these 12 sites will be uh, discussed one by one and relevant merits and demerits of claims and counterclaims will be discussed. And then whenever and uh, in the places we see that it is really easy to resolve those disputes, we'll start resolving. So it may not be possible to resolve the entire dispute at a time, but definitely we can start from some point and one by one we keep on resolving this dispute. The chief ministers also stressed on the give and take policy to resolve the disputes as and when applicable. Today, I met Honorable Chief Minister of Meghalaya, C. Conrad Sangma, to discuss and find a way out the long standing boundary dispute between Assam and Meghalaya. We all know that. Uh, state of Meghalaya has identified 12 places as disputed area and uh, claims has been made and historical fact, other relevance data has been placed on table to justify the claim that these were part of state of Meghalaya and Assam should give it back to the state of Meghalaya. Assam has also uh, justified or we have placed our documents to prove that these places are belongs to Assam and uh, the claims made by the state of Meghalaya may not be justifiable. In view of the contradictory stand, it is important to resolve this dispute in a spirit of give and take and considering that long-standing friendship between the people of Assam and Meghalaya and also in order to keep the spirit of North East alive. And meanwhile, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma also termed the meeting very fruitful and it reiterated that it was time to go beyond the status quo. Honorable Chief Minister of Assam and myself have been meeting in multiple occasions and today was the first official 
discussion we had with all our officials, senior officials of both the governments present, as mentioned by the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam. The discussion was very positive, and we have decided that no longer will we look at status quo as the outcome of the meeting, but we will try to change from the status quo and find a solution to this very long pending issue. As I've been mentioning many times in the past, it's not very simple. So one should not expect or think that we will be able to resolve issues that have been pending for so long in a matter of days. This will require consultation. It will require a lot of homework. It will require us to really meet the people also at the grassroots level. And we also need to look at the current situation of the locations also. So depending totally on history and documentation of the past may not be the best approach altogether. So we are going to obviously look at the factual data, but we need to also look at what other ways we could move forward in able to find a, a practical solution to the entire problem, which is going to be obviously amicable and acceptable to both sides in nature. And therefore, uh, we will work on each area one by one, and our officials have already started the homework. Uh, they will be conducting a large, uh, I mean, a number of meetings even before our second meeting, which will take place on the 6th of August in Guwahati. I thank the Honorable Chief Minister of Assam for having invited me for that meeting. And uh, before that meeting, our officials will meet and discuss uh, more details on all these, uh, um, on the factual uh, status of uh, things in the border areas and the areas of differences. And we are very hopeful that we will be able to move forward uh, in a positive manner. And well, the stage is all set for the crucial meeting of Northeast Chief Ministers with Union Home Minister Amit Shah tomorrow. As per the schedule, Union Home Minister Amit Shah will be meeting the Northeast Chief Ministers, Chief Secretaries and DGPs at the State Convention Centre in Shillong at 4.30pm, following which there will be another executive meeting with the Chief Ministers at 6.30pm. The Union Home Minister will also meet the pressure groups at 7 p.m.